Yo, what is going on, everybody? Hope we are well. Here we go. We are into Champion One. Div uh, sorry, Champion Two, Division One. <laughs> uh, let's see how we get on today. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll push into Champion Two, Division Two. Maybe into Div Three. I'm not sure how close we are to Div Two. We might just be a game off here. Single jump on that kickoff here. Just gonna grab some pads. There we go, and try and just get central so we can stand the inside. Look at this nice inside position. And that way we can reload our challenge here. And that is... <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. That was so glitchy. I have no clue. We put it to the corner. I went to... I thought I could... Oh, I don't know what just happened. That's just a freak accident. Let's just put it down to freak accident. But anyway. We're going to be doing more of the same things today. Trying to get 50s. Trying to stay on the ball and not throw away possession if we can help it but mainly like i feel and you know maybe i've been too cocky i feel this will be the easiest rank i really do think this will be the piece of cake rank and i and i i'm quite proud when i say that i know people are going to probably hate on me because everyone plays the game with this rank the same they're all playing the same oh this could be a goal actually because we're going to move it with them so we get the 50 might even have to get out yeah nice well job that is a goal well well done bloody hell so what I was actually looking to do, the reason I was quite confident it was a goal, is because we got them in the corner and they're actually moving with us. So we're going to win that 50 and force the ball into the middle. And then it was a 1v1 hook shot were available. Could even flick it, double jump, demo. So good finish from the teammate. I just You know it's a high percentage look because we've got them into the corner. They're moving back with us. And that's what we've got. We've also got a ton of map space there. So we've got room to maneuver when we get them in the corner. And when you've got a few things like that, you can confidently say it's probably going to be a goal because you know what's coming up. So we're just going to grab this back boost here. Nice and high above the ball. We get a free possession. And we're just going to take our time. Fake some 50s here. So fake to the inside. Make them jump across. Take that 15. Just tap it into the middle. Not, not particularly good there for me. I should have low shot it back towards them thinking about it. And we're going to take a 50 there before they get their shot off to waste time. But using the side of the car with a side foot. Like I've said before, you could realistically, I suppose you could. I wouldn't recommend it. You could challenge every ball. But the, the issue you've got is you need to be sideways to do so. But I wouldn't, I still wouldn't recommend it. A lot can go wrong with that. But anyway, we're going to keep our eye on the opponent. And we're going to go for a tower with Flick there. Move into the middle because we know where the ball's going to go. The reason I know where the ball's going to go here is because I flicked it high. He will go up for that because he's not going to watch me. He's going to watch the ball. So I know he's double jumping, which means he can't really get rid of the ball. And he's looking more to save it. So he's going to block towards the middle. Always be towards the middle, really, when you're looking to finish if you can. But uh, my bad, guys. I did say I was going to minimize the use of the tower with Flick. You know, I just wanted to see how effective it is. I might just do one more. I just want to see how... Yeah, let's do one ever. See how effective it is. Drop the boost. Yeah, okay. That is uh, that is super effective. Yeah, well played with the teammates. Well, it was almost in off the bar, to be honest. But I just wanted to just check to, sh to see how easy it could melt through Champ 2. I thought it would, so we won't use it anymore. But... I just wanted to see, because I think last time, you know, really, it was Champ 1. So people go, oh, yeah, it was Champ 1, not against the Champ 2s, you know, where everyone's getting stuck. And I've heard all these stories about the, the players in this rank being so crazy. And again, speaking of crazy, they are, because diving into the last man. This is what you really want to look at. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. When you're playing this game, all you've got to do is know that players are just absolutely panicking. They're panicking. They all feel that they deserve a higher rank. They all think they're better than they are. They're all working on pointless mechanics and moves that they can't even use in the game. And what they do is they're so desperate to use these mechanics because they've been told to play fast. They've been told to do these mechanics. Again, nice and central. And there we go. Always jump, by the way. If you ever think there's a shot coming in, always jump. Because then you can double jump. You can jump again to go up. You can obviously do what I just did. You can flip forward. But if I stay grounded and they jab shot, I'm probably not going to be able to get up in time. Just going to wait here. Don't want to pick the ball up in the corner. It's much easier for me to take a challenge at front post because I'm going to win it. And now I can just take my time here. We can look to just give them a little bump and it's down the ball here. Grab some boost. Try not to waste this boost. Again, just sticking around. So now we've isolated this guy. That's perfect. Back into the middle. And there we go. We can just stay here. So yeah, that's a big tip, guys. Always much to hide the ball on defense. Hopefully you can jab that. Unlucky. And we're just going to move back into the middle again. Back into the middle. Don't pick up the ball in the corner. It's back into the middle. We know where it's going to go if we go into the middle. We can see everything. There we go. We can just tap it away. Because they're going to go crazy. Look, teammate actually had a, a chance to score there. But they, they hit it on the first opportunity. They're not looking. No one is looking and taking their time. 
my biggest advice in champ to do is to take your time is to position well and actually think about what you're doing think about how you can score look it, it's just a pass i'm not following my teammate into the corner biggest load of nonsense you've ever heard in your life i'm not going to name people who tell you to do that but it's nonsense if i followed my teammate then the net's wide open it's a goal okay so you just have to stay in the middle as the second man goal side look again goal side if that's on i'm okay if that's on i'm probably not okay <laughs> yeah because it, it is a bit of a dangerous ball but my teammate threw the ball away so that's pointless they could have tapped it into the corner stayed with the play and made something happen and that's what you need to do you have to stay with the ball make something happen unless you've got an explosive counter can double jump here always from the inside even here See, I'm naturally turning in towards the inside. If, if I read that bounce better, that's on me if it's in. I can always get, again, inside to outside because it puts it into the corner. You've got to make sure you're not clearing the ball directly down the middle. Again, 50 into the corner. The only reason you'd want to put the ball down the middle is if you can go, you know, if you can think you can score. If you think you can outplay a, a player. Of what, again, inside. And then we're just blocking it. It's just so easy. You could just get goal after, sorry, save after save here. Just blocking the inside. And we're just seeing a lot of panic. We're seeing a lot of aerials we don't need. We didn't even need that aerial. We didn't even need that aerial, to be honest with you. We didn't need to throw that away either because, look, he's hit the ball away and then drove off. Now, this guy could be a genius. He could be stalling out. He says, well, we've got a two-goal lead. But I don't know if that's true. And that's the thing. You just don't need to do a lot. You just need to stay with the ball. And there we go. There's the first weird, as I, I figured, I figured it would be pretty easy at this rank. So, yeah, everyone in Champ 2 is just trying to score. But they're not actually trying to put high percentage stuff on to score. They're, they're just desperate to put anything on net. The other thing they're... Yeah, there we go, Div 2. The other thing they're desperate to do is they're desperate to try and make a, a highlight play. You're not going to make a highlight play. Very, very unlikely. The only reason you would get a highlight play is if I'm in the corner with my teammate. I'm leaving you open. I'm giving you space. I don't give you space because I don't rotate. I'll stay on the ball. Now you can't get your offense off because I'm not going to let you. I'm going to create doubt in your mind. It works. Even high-level players, you, you'll go you'll watch a high-level replay. You'll see even pros mess, mess up flicks, mess up touches just because someone's doing a close shadow. I know it sounds unbelievable, but pro I promise you, it's true. All right, here we go. We're just going to move forward here. Wait on pad two. And we're just going to look to, again, stay on the inside. They got the musty, great, great musty flip. Or as I like to call it, a pass. We're just going to single jump there as he comes in. And it's a never open net fantastic musty flip what a waste of time what a waste of time do you know what i learned i learned how to single jump who's who's winning do you see what i'm saying you're wasting your time and if you want to go all the way you want to go ssl you want to go pro fair enough spend your time doing your musty flip although you will need to have fundamentals uh, you cannot get to pro level without having any good fundamentals by the way so that's a bit of a, a myth but Spend your time doing your musty flips if you've... Uh, that's bad for me. Really bad for me. If you've got the time to, I suppose. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you're if you're a normal person, you've got work, you've got responsibilities, you've got school, college, whatever. You're not going to have enough time to play this game to really get good at that. I just think you just get good at doing the ground stuff and learning the game, personally. I'm going to move away. Like, like, again, but close. I think they didn't necessarily have to go there. It is actually an open net. They didn't need to go there because we'd already frozen because we were close. The, the fact that we were close put them in danger and that made them overreact. A lot of champ is moving fast. Now, you don't want to move fast. All you want to do is you want to execute fast. I will be fair, you have to execute fast. Like, for example, that goal we had a minute ago where I single jumped. I saw the player and I instantly single jumped as soon as I saw him because I've got to execute quick. If I would have took my time and you know, just chilled on the ground, we would have got dunked. So again, like I always say, might die at the ball in defense, but that's one of the reasons why. But that is quick execution. And if you're doing flicks, then you can also execute quick. That's one of my, I really like that move is you just single jump. And then as they come in, they expect you to flip or something. You just do another single jump. I'm gonna wait here, hopefully teammates in the middle. So we can actually funnel this to the corner. Okay. Where the heck is my teammate? Well, I'm really confused here. What, why is he? What in the hell? This is my point. So if you want to get out of champ 2, which is where it seems to be all the sticking problems for a lot of people, as second man, you have to, and I can't say this enough, stay goal side. Forget trying to score as second man. Stay goal side and protect the net. You don't need much offense in these ranks because there is zero defense. 
And it might even be the same for champ three, in all honesty. But you're all, there you go, look, more middle than everyone else. It's an open net. You don't need good moves. You just need to chill. And then just put the ball in. Like, it's just an open net. Just put the ball in. It's very simple. The only problem is that you, you people are trying to play the, the same game. Little double jump there, so that goes in. So yeah, that's my big thing, guys. Central positioning. Play defense. Ah, oh, shame. See, he's, he's thinking about coming into that. He's thinking about rotating. I'm not, I don't care about rotation. Good save. That's a very good save. But I, I don't care about that. Don't look to come in. Look to protect. Look to protect. You, you could just protect in this rank. Because look, here we go. Just bring it. I've been told all about these aerial mechanics. Nah, nothing. Okay, because they're playing it too fast because they're panicking. Here we go. Here's another aerial mechanic. What a waste of possession. He's still flying after it. What a waste of possession. How many of you would have dove on that, flown yourself forward, got scored on and gone? There's so many smurfs in this rank. They're just so good. They just do. The aerials they do, I've not seen in all of these series still. Maybe one or two. But I've got to be honest, right? Because I, I see this all the time. And, and I, I feel like I've played in this rank as much as anyone with, with, with all these series. And I've never seen anyone land any of this stuff. I, 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 I'm sorry to say that. I'm being honest. I've not seen it. I get told by people, they go every other game, they got someone who's flip reset scoring. Well, how the hell are they flip reset scoring? I've not just, just not seen it. You're doing something wrong if that's happening because I've never seen that. Okay, I've never seen all this stuff. The reason they're doing it is because you keep diving in, diving in, and you're not playing goal side. You're not playing as a team. So you're diving in, diving in, giving away possession, giving away possession. Yeah, you're going to get scored on. You're, they're going to score stuff because you're just diving across plays. I can't stress that enough. And, you know, this is the whole point with this fundamental series. I just get real passionate about it. You know, I want you guys to get better. I want people to improve. But you've just got to do the fundamentals. Like, I'm not going to try and score that because there's two back. I'm going to do that instead. So I can't take a, a flip into this because it's too risky. Have a 50 in the corner, like a, just a low 50 with a fade away. Let my teammate have it and then just bash the goalkeeper out of the position. That's a rare, rare occurrence because often the goalkeeper will actually follow them into the corner. And then it's a goal anyway. So that's what I want to say, guys. You know, I'm sorry if I'm being a dream crusher to people. I'm sorry if I'm calling people out. If I'm calling people out for saying, well, I, I look, I do every, every time I do these series, I always get the same comment. Always the same comment. How come the people you play are nowhere near as good as the ones I play. How come your champ 2s play like plat? Yeah, the, the secret is your champ 2s also play like platinum. The difference is I'm not flipping in there, diving in, and just doing this, the most ridiculous plays. I'm just going to shadow and stay central. Let them miss because they don't have the skill and the ability, like I've said for years, because they're not working on the fundamentals. They le believe in the lies. They believe in the nonsense. They're just flipping around, messing up, and you just get free open nets like, time after time. So there we go. Another win there. 6-2 as well, yeah. It, it comes from the bad quality. Like, a lot of the offense is just the bad quality defending that they're doing, guys. And their offense is low grade as well, and it works because you're diving in. I, I just really... I'm trying to really get that, you know, get that over. Stop diving in. It does not work. If you're second man, give space. Wait central. Shadow. Think more about protection before you have to get on offense because you will get given open net. Look, here we go. Here's the mechanics. Look at the mechanics. You know, I've just... Okay, back into the middle and we get the free ball because I'm not diving into the play. I'm just going to shadow, get a free ball. Now I can pop it up. Now I can get boost. Now I can look for a demo, smash him out of the net. Price that wasn't a demo. Now I can get this boost. And now I know they're low on boost. I try to pinch that up towards the ceiling with my teammate. But there you go. And here's my teammate. They're going to try an aerial play. Let's have a look at the quality of it. It's a pass. Now, if the opponents dove in on that, yeah, they could, you know, that could be considered a goal. Again, another pass. We just take our time here. We're going to fake going into the middle here because they're going to the outside. So I fake going into the middle, shift their position, and then we're going to go back to the outside. There we go. Now we can just tap it over, get around that player. Let me just go for a double jump there. Nice. Nice try on the save, actually. So what you can do is if they're... If they're positioned to block your lateral dribble, you can fake lateral dribble, go back on yourself and actually push it against the wall because then I'm inside to outside, so I'm actually more likely to win the 50 and go over the top. As you guys know, I've got a lot of stuff when it comes to 
lateral dribbles. I've got a lot of sequences off the lateral dribbles um, that, you know, we teach in the pacifist system. And uh, just a shout out to that, you know, as I have to every episode, guys, you know, the big thing is been a lot of work going into it. And I still believe it's the, the best sort of thing you can do. I really do, you know, biased as hell. But <laughs> I just got to be honest. I just got to say what I believe. Um, yeah, six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching, six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching, and then six hours per week of um in field coaching so i'll show you the drills i'll show you the methods we use how to execute it how to practice it with your teammates who are also in the system uh and then i, I you know make sure your form is correct make sure you've you got every little tweak every little bit of car movement there's so much hidden rocket league in this game it's unbelievable so you know we've got loads of stuff for that so yeah it's a lot there is a lot it's an intense course six weeks but um yeah you get like 36 42 something like that hours of coaching actual coaching not you know watching pre-made videos this is all live in field stuff that i'm doing live you know so there we go we're I mean, just gonna tap that so yeah a little shout out the good to play from the teammate really well played again i'm second man so what do i do with second man i give space i'm central i'm goal side i'm ready to pick up the ball because it would most likely go central and i can just move into it don't have to do much more than that now we're gonna build up here Gonna get nice and high on the wall there and then double jump. So, uh, like, went for the shot there. Sorry, jumped up for the shot. Oh, we can't wait here. Ah, my bad. Yeah, 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 my bad. Could have double jumped as well there. I went, <laughs> went with that jump into the net because I technically had blocked the angle on net and it then puts me into net, which means I got a deep position. I saw my teammate coming across the screen, so I waited for him to come and hit that ball or they to hit that ball and probably shouldn't have done that. And then I was too late to react. Uh, one thing I do want to know because people will be like, how did you see him? I want you to know that what you see on the screen isn't what I see. I've got a wider monitor, so I can actually see a little bit more extended on each side. That's a really good play for them. We're just going to stay with this ball nice and high. So again, don't throw yourself in. A lot of players would just panic and throw yourself in. Then I've been chipped, and then it's an open net. But if I don't throw myself in, if I just block, if I just think more about blocking, more about blocking the angles, then throw myself in. Like here, I just just drive back towards the net. And now I'm look. So he, I'm trying to. There we go. Now he can only hit the post. So I'm blocking the angle, and then this guy will probably just hit the ball right at me because they're always in a rush to score, and then we just get, get on offense. I'm just going to bump them off because that was my ball. <laughs> Plus, they get a bit erratic. I don't think that anything good's happened for a while. I mean, they did do a really good bump. I've got to be fair to them. But uh, yeah, they're driving away a lot. So again, free ball because they've been told to play fast. And then just look, you get loads of space. We've got map space. We can pretty much do what we want. We just double jump it here. Don't need to be mechanical as they dive in, which causes an open net. Teammate misses it. You can see the diving is messing up. They're still driving back with their, the opponent. And we're just, again, nice and central. It's all you need. Honestly, it is all you need. Here comes the aerials that we've been told about. There isn't an aerial, right? They don't have it. It's not real. There's another aerial we've been told about. Open net because they can't hit the ball. And again, I'm not bashing mid-champ two players here when I say this. I'm just being a realist. I've heard too much nonsense about the flip we said. Too much nonsense about the musties. I've had actually people say that they're playing players as good as them. Yes, I'm reading this sort of stuff and I can't believe it. Sometimes my eyes start to bleed. The truth of the matter is you're diving on pointless balls. Like I say, a little fake here. And now we can use this to get an inside position to put that in. So, like you might have thought, oh, is he going to go for an aerial play? I'm never going to go for an aerial play there. So I'm diving in. It's a fake to stall him. I'm never going to hit this. Never going to go for it. But I use it now to get a real close shadow and then I can just tap it in. So, just wanted to add the razzmatazz there and show you that. It's all about that, guys. Just keep it simple. Sorry for the rant. We are champion 2, div 2 there. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. Any questions, put them in the comments. And I'll catch you later. Peace out. Peace, peace. Welcome to the Pacifist System, where Rocket League Mastery meets personalized coaching. Meet gamers just like you who've transformed their Rocket League experience with the Pacifist System. Hey, if you're trying to rank up in Rocket League, you gotta check out the Pacifist System. Completely changed the way I play the game. Was so frustrated before, not understanding why some games we were winning, some games we were losing. My understanding of the game has just exploded after taking this course. I can't recommend it enough. It's like steroids for game sense.
In the Pacifist system, we believe in a personalized approach to coaching. That's why we give six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching and hands-on coaching during drills. If Avin was coming in for a 50 and I do what a lot of players do, I'm going to do this. Okay, you see how I don't have any substance on the ball? Because I'm moving forward for no reason. Most players will actually boost forward. But the difference is what I want to do when I'm taking a 50 is I want to kill or match the speed on my side flip. So now as he comes in, I'm right behind it. And I can get my 50 in. Does that make sense? Make sure you understand and can implement the principles we are teaching. The lessons taught here mean that I could get on straight away by developing the basic skills that I already had when I arrived and now I have a deeper understanding of the game, how it works and how I can use that to my advantage. We'll work together to identify your goals, address weaknesses and fine tune your pacifist skills so that you can achieve success. With scalable resources to ensure a comprehensive and effective learning experience. My time during the Pacifist Court has been nothing but amazing, especially the group drills were so helpful to me. We could see progress week after week and it was just overall a super great time. I earned a deep understanding of the game, which I can now use as a foundation for any future progress. Joining the Pacifist system means more than just gameplay improvement. It's a journey to understanding the game. If you want to join the next cohort or you want to get involved in the Pacifist system, send me a message on Discord. The channel is in the description below. And achieve more by doing less.